Hey, Snickers back again today. Again, yes, twice in one day. Oh, I'm so good. Today we have again Illumi OS 1.0. Yes, it's finally released properly. Based on Debian. Yes, lovely Debian. And he's been playing his own little distro on the Debian base. And it's Oakley Doakley. Although I've found some little problems that you may find if you download and use it. Bear in mind it's quite a large download, okay? It's not a little titchy one. It's a rather large one. Anyway, nice desktop background. Lovely jabbly. Launch, we've got our four windows for doing stuff. Over here we have my interface, and over here we have my CPU load, my RAM, my swap, and everything else, and my temperatures and stuff like that. Time and date, as you can see, it's Wednesday the 21st. Yes, Wednesday, yes. Obviously, I've not changed the clock because it's not actually that time here at the moment. They're a bit more forward than we. Okay, if you right click the desktop, you get a menu, so about. We're going to have a look at that first, I think. Quick look in the book. Illumi OS. Yes, the one we're using. 1.0. Nicey, nicey, nicey. And it's made by Clarence Siu, I will say. I think it's Siu or Su. I'll say not anyway. But I, I, I think he's from Malaysia. So anyway, I'll open that way anyway in the world. Okay. Launch. I'm going to go this time. So same menu. Now we can update it. Desktop. Basic Debian. File Manager. Archiver. Terminal, calculator, text editor, etc. For web, we get Iceweasel as our main client here. So I like Iceweasel. It's the unbranded stuff. I like unbranded. Do you like unbranded? It's really good for me. So Google is our main page. So that's pretty cool. That's all right. As you can see, the exit is on the left hand side here and not the right. And you get this big blocky text. I'm not sure if I like that bit, but hey, that's just me. Don't shoot the messenger. Gmail is in your menu, and so is Hotmail. So these are just links and stuff like that. Skype is here. So we have a look at Skype. Does Skype open up? Well, yes, it does. Very nice indeed. We'll come out of that. And of course, it stays open, doesn't it? So I have to quit that. Won't I? Okay, launch again. Under graphics, a picture viewer, an image editor. What one is it? Let's have a look. It's just known paint. It's no biggie here. There's a bee. Because I'd say nice in there, couldn't we really? Yeah. Shopware was here also. You got a Flickr shortcut and a Picasso shortcut. Cheese webcam, I like it. And a camera transfer to transfer your photos over. That's fine. You got a music player and a movie player. What is a music player? Let's have a quick to see what it is. Five, four, three, two, one. It's doing something. It's Banshee. Not my favourite in the world, okay? Not my favourite at all, okay? We'll close Banshee because it stays open, obviously. That is a quid. Oh, yes. Where was we? Media. YouTube shortcut, a Vimo shortcut, a CD, DVD creator, sound recorder. There's quite a lot in here, really. Shortcut to Google Docs, and then Zoho. I do use Zoho. Recommend it if you want to do stuff like that. If you don't want to use Google, that is. Under news, we get Google News, BBC News, CNN News, New York Times News, and CNET News. So we'll open CNET News up and see if that works. Works fine. Ice Weasel is here. Lovely, jubbly, nicely looking at it. A bit slow on the old net. Must be me. Okay. Looks all right to me. Yeah. That's okay, isn't it? Lovely. Get rid of that. Next. And we're going to our menu. Now we've got social. Facebook and Twitter are all here, as is Tumblr and Blogger and Windows Live and Friendster and MySpace. A lot of shortcuts. Utilities, there's quite a few here. Also, you can record your desktop. I've not tried that yet. No, not really, because I'll do something else tonight. But what I'm going to say is, this is the live CD. And you're saying, Sneaky, why are you doing it on the live CD? Well, I couldn't actually get it to install. But after playing with it for a little bit longer, I found this. I was trying to use CD Remaster, and I was doing it. So will it work? Well, I don't know. I'm going to try that a bit later and install it. And if it installs, I'm going to play and install some stuff on it, make sure it's all hunky-dory. So remember, this is the live CD. Okay, get it? Live CD. Well, under settings, we get our power management, mouse preferences, volume control, Samba, network manager, Bluetooth, wireless, remote controls, and desktop background. Should we change that? Why not? Should we go for Dreamy? Okay, we'll go for Dreamy. Apply. Mine got in here. Oh, that's bright, isn't it? Whoa. I'll need some sunglasses for that. Anyway, under programs again, we get our applications. It is all here. Look, there's lots and lots of stuff. So he has put a bit of effort in and put some stuff in here for you and not just stripped it back. Not many toys, though. But I'll tell you what, I'm going to put a clock on. There you go. Put a nice little clock up there. That's okay, isn't it? But you could have it all the time. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? 
you get help and screens, locking and saving, and the Windows Manager, which is Ice Weasel, as you well know. I didn't not tell you that. Yes, Ice Windows Manager, Ice Ice Baby, and all that. Right, Illumi, what do I think this time? Well, actually, it has got better than last, okay? Um, if it installs correctly a bit later, I will come back and show you what it's all about and how it's liking. So, yeah, I like it. I'm not going to give it a rating out of 100 because I've not installed it, and it wouldn't be fair to everybody else, would it? No, it wouldn't. So, anyway, Illumi OS 1.0. It's rather jolly good. If you want something a bit different, and uses the ICE Windows Manager. Sneaky. Linux. Get out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.